Hey guys, welcome back. Here's another Tuesday tip for home buyers with questions to ask. Today I'm going to talk about uh, when you're considering a condo or an HOA, which is a homeowners association. So first of all, condo ownership is or condo is a type of ownership, not an architectural style. So, is that people often think of a condo as like an apartment type building. You could have a townhouse, which is considered a condo, okay, as far as the ownership. So, a condo is an, a type of ownership, not an architectural style. HOA, Homeowners Association, is typically an association that kind of manages maybe the amenities and, and makes up the rules and regulations for a particular development. You could have that as a townhouse, it could be a single family. Lots of things to consider when you get involved in a community that is either a condo ownership or an HOA is associated with it. So I want to talk a little bit about some of the questions to consider when you're considering a home in that in that particular development. Okay, so typically uh, these um, offer a lot of amenities, right? And that's why people like these type of developments. They offer maybe a pool or a tennis court, um, fitness facilities, um, walking trails, whatever that might be. Um, but you also want to consider is the storage, if you're in a townhouse or a condo type uh, situation, is the storage going to be enough? Is your outside space going to be enough? Um, <clears throat> if you like to garden or have a lot of entertaining, um, is that particular property going to give you enough? Uh, or if you dread those type of, um, <laughs> of, uh, of um, jobs, or then it might be plenty. It might be exactly what you need. Okay. Um, the the amenities that are offered, of course, you're paying for with your HOA, your condo fees that you pay monthly, okay? Your lender takes that into consideration when they're looking at your loan and your monthly payment, that's going to be included in that. Um, and that can change. It can fluctuate from year to year, all right? So the condo or the HOA, they make up those rules. And even though you may have a say in those rules and what's going on with those associations, you do have to abide by them even if you don't agree with them once you're an owner in that property, okay? So when we get into a contract that involves a condo association or an HOA, um, we'll have a chance to review the documents that are associated with that development. Within those documents, <clears throat> we're going to have a lot of questions. Some of those questions we're going to have. Who handles the maintenance and security? What are you responsible for and what are they responsible for? Is it the siding or the windows or the roof, the fencing? Is it just the common areas? So who pays for what, right? And we'll have a chance to see what that is. Um, do they have the required reserve funds that they're supposed to handle? So in these associations, okay, it's a financial, there's a well, finances involved. Obviously you're paying a monthly fee. What are they doing with that money? So by law, they have to have a reserve or a savings fund for any large repairs. And they're supposed to have a percentage in that particular reserve so that they can take care of those. You know, does the roof need to be repaired? They've got to prove they've got the money to do that, right? How are they handling those finances? Or are they doing what they're supposed to with the money that you're paying them monthly? So a chance to review that. The lender's also going to look at that very closely um, to make sure that they're not loaning you money for a property that's not going to be taken care of in the future. All right. We're also going to look at what's the average vacancy rate. Are they turning over quickly and why is that happening? How many are non-owner investment properties? Lenders also going to take this into consideration because they want that to be at a certain level uh, or they're not going to loan money to a buyer to purchase into that neighborhood because it could indicate it's trending downward. Um, and um, so that's something to consider. It's also going to make it very hard for you to resell that property. So these are really um, important questions. When you get these documents, some of them can be like 300 pages long. We're going to review them very closely and you're going to have to sign off that you read them, you understood, and you're in agreement with it. If you don't like something in there, if it's not going to work for you, or you're like, oh gosh, I want to have my boat in the driveway and I can't, I thought I could, that's a chance for you to release yourself from the contract, okay, without um, any um, ramifications. So just some things to consider, especially in a condo and HOA situation. These are questions that you should ask. I hope you enjoyed it. There, uh, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and I will catch you on the next Tuesday Tips.